Hello and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. Last weekend was Open Studios in Waltham. About 100 artists welcomed visitors into their workspaces or showed their work as guest artists. In addition to the studio buildings, this year's event included guest artists at the Tea Leaf on Moody, which was recently taken over by arts enthusiast Robin Capello. Last week, the city council had the week off, but there was a packed house at the November 2nd school committee meeting, mostly people in red there to support the Waltham Educators Association, which is currently in contract negotiations with the committee. Several teachers who are also Waltham residents, as well as several students who were there to support them, used the public input period to discuss the cost of living raise and parental leave, both of which appear to be issues in the negotiations. This week, the city council had committee meetings and the rules and ordinances committee recommended a special permit for Uma Flowers proposed cannabis dispensary at 196 Spirit Hill Road, making them the second cannabis business to reach this step in the process. Both Uma and Thrive still need to have their special permits approved by the full council, which may happen on Monday. After that, they'll still need to work out a host community agreement with the mayor's office before they can open up. The Economic and Community Development Committee approved a resolution calling for improvements to Logan Park, a neighborhood park on Waltham South Side. Councillor Harris said the effort was initiated by sixth graders who surveyed about 80 neighbors about the need for improvements to the park, including preserving trees and replacing mulch surfaces. The resolution calls on the mayor and recreation department to review their proposal. On Monday evening, there was also a special city council meeting at the request of the mayor, which was an executive session to discuss properties at 101 School Street and Zero Prospect Hill Road. The council can go into a private executive session when discussing real estate negotiations. So it's possible the city is considering purchasing these properties, but we don't know for sure what was discussed. 101 School Street is the Elks Lodge. Zero Prospect Hill Road is an undeveloped property that belongs to the Antico family who are developers, but has traditionally been used by neighbors to access Prospect Hill Park. According to a WCAC article from January, the Anticos have asked the Board of Survey and Planning for a permit to extend Prospect Hill Road through the property, which may be a first step toward further development, but a petition calling for it not to be developed received over 1,100 signatures. This coming Tuesday, the 15th, will be the last of the ward specific public input sessions for the Master Plan Committee for Ward 7 at 6 p.m. at 119 School Street. So if you live in Ward 7, which includes the Brandeis campus, be sure to go and let the committee know what you think the priority should be for Waltham. On Monday night, the City Council will have their usual meeting. The School Committee will be meeting again on Wednesday. On Tuesday evening, if you're not going to the Ward 7 meeting, uh, the Charles River Museum is hosting a talk on the history of the labor movement in Waltham. That looks very interesting. For a more complete list of meetings and community events, check out the Waltham subreddit. Thank you very much.